number two is that we have to be consistent if we want to move in the increased grace of God in our lives we have to understand that the relationship with the Holy Spirit is forever relationship with him relationship with God is forever we can be we can live a victorious life we can't live a victorious life if we hop one day in two days out one day in one week out one day we're in church the next day we're at the party one day we come to morning prayer and one week the, the next week we we sleep in and we don't come we don't we don't come we don't pray we don't spend time with God we don't do anything we have to understand that if we want more of God's grace the increase of our uh, of God's grace to operate in our lives for greater grace we must stay consistent in John chapter 15 Jesus talks about bearing fruit and then he goes on to say bearing more fruit and then bearing much fruit but if you see what what comes before of bearing fruit and bearing more fruit and bearing much fruit is one thing that comes before is abiding abiding is consistency abiding in me he said abide in me my word will abide in you and you will bear more fruit and you will bear much fruit if we want to be consistent and grow in God's grace walking in victory in, uh, with God if we want to see the increase of God's grace in your life in our in our church in our city we must be consistent in the relationship with the Holy Spirit we must be consistent in our prayer we must be consistent consistently spending time with him consistently spending time in his word in the story of Elijah and Elisha it was Elijah was a prophet Elijah was a mentor and Elisha was a mentee he was following Elijah and we can see that Elijah was the man of God and Holy Spirit was upon him and we see that the reason why Elisha received a double portion of anointing is because Elijah refused to be inconsistent is because Elisha he refused to leave Elijah is because he planted himself with him and even towards the end of the days of Elijah even 600 prophets came out to him and say Eli Elisha leave Elijah alone he's going to be taken away from you even then he refused to leave Elijah himself said leave me alone I'm going to go by myself even then Elisha refused to leave and then when he saw when, Eli when Elisha saw Elijah be taken out by the chariot, when God take, uh, came to take him, he received that mentorship. He received that increase of, uh, ment uh, he received that mental, he received that increase of his grace, of God's grace in his life. So I wanted to encourage us. I want to motivate us. I want to tell us to spend time with the Holy Spirit to spend time in God's Word, to spend time renewing our mindset, to spend time if we want to walk in victory uh, with, uh, in our lives, if we want to walk in a greater grace in our life, if we want to walk with more in our lives, let's be consistent. Let's spend every day with God, with pr in prayer, in reading of the Word. We have every single day from Monday through Friday, we have morning prayers in our church, our doors open from as early sometimes as three o'clock but four o'clock for sure four till ten to eleven this church is open and the music is on come bring your bible bring uh bring yourself and spend time with God spend time seeking God's face if you if you can't come here spend time at home every single morning spend time with God when you spend time with God God will begin to increase his grace over your life God will begin to give you power to overcome every sin, every challenge, every sickness, anything that's tormenting your life.